All right, not bad for a Monday here. Pretty seasonable numbers. Uh, we do have that north wind out there, making it a little bit more chilly out there. Some areas in the lower 60s, off towards the southwest. But overall, still a pretty chilly day, even though, again, pretty normal numbers. Upper 50s, lower 60s could be warmer. And we will see south winds returning. That's going to help boost some temperatures up here over the next 48 hours, next three days before we see a couple more fronts work in. And the last one on the seven day could be the stronger one, bringing a real big cool down. As far as lows go overnight tonight, I think we're going to see temperatures falling down to around freezing. Even below that, I think some areas are going to dip down into the 20s. Could be as low as around 27 degrees. Again, a pretty, pretty chilly night. So if you set those plants out like I, did, I do, I'll set them out on the porch for a couple days. Bring them back in if you want to keep them because uh, it's going to be another cold night for us. As we go into tomorrow afternoon, again, south wind is going to help us turn around. We'll see a lot of sunshine and blue skies, and we'll see temperatures pretty comfortable into the lower to mid 60s area wide, and we're only going to go up from there for at least a day or two. We did have that front move through, already really seeing that fall apart off towards the south of us. Clear sky, high pressure settling in and bring us that north breeze. That'll continue to relax overnight tonight, so we'll get some really good radiational cooling, clear skies, light winds, and some dry air in place can allow temperatures again to help fall into those 20s. Here's a look at the winds right now. They were up there 10 to 20 uh, for a time this afternoon. Not too bad right now, but winds are going to be one of our top things we're going to talk about for the next 48 hours. Tomorrow, really going to pick up west of 35. This would be our area of main concern to maybe see a few wildfires pop up out there if they do get going. Strongest winds out here could really drive those across the fields pretty quick. 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting over 20 at times possible out there. Then we see that critical fire danger really spreading for more of the area as we go into Wednesday, as we'll see most of the area 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting over 30s at time. So again, going to be pretty windy here over the next 48 hours moving into Wednesday. Elevated fire danger. It's because we have relatively uh, low relative humidity, 15 to 30 percent dry air in place. We've got the dry vegetation. We're going to have the winds pretty gusty. So like we were seeing last week, we're seeing those brush fires get going and spreading across the fields. This is what we could see again. Best areas for that 35 and westward over the next couple of days. Avoid the unnecessary burning so often. It's some of the somebody burning outside that doesn't really need to or welding. That's people do that a lot too. Welding. Yeah, Doug raised his hand. There are people out there that weld. It's just it's sometimes common sense things on days where it's like mm, maybe it's not the best. To it's do a that passion, today. Zach. It you is can't help but weld. He's sometimes. also a sculptor. Yeah. And here's a look at the seven day forecast. Hey, Groundhog Day on Friday. We'll let Andy uh, see if he can see a shadow. We'll pop him out outside. See if winter's going to last for a couple more days or a few weeks. All right. It's a lovely image. Thank You're you. Well. <laughs> so